Droplet manipulation is a core aspect of modern microfluidics, enabling precise control of tiny volumes of liquids, often in the picoliter to nanoliter range. These tiny droplets can act as individual reaction chambers, making them incredibly useful in fields ranging from chemistry and biology to diagnostics and materials science. But how exactly are these droplets controlled? How do scientists sort them, merge them together, or split them apart without touching them? One of the most widely used methods to manipulate droplets involves microchannels, tiny pathways etched into materials like CDMS, a silicon-based rubber. Droplets, usually suspended in an immiscible carrier fluid like oil, move through these channels and can be influenced by changes in geometry, flow rate, or the application of external fields. For example, passive sorting can be achieved simply by adjusting the angles and branching points of the channels. Faster or larger droplets are deflected into one path, while slower or smaller ones take another. More sophisticated control comes from active methods, electric fields, electrowetting or dielectrophoresis, acoustic waves, thermal gradients, and magnetic fields can all be used to influence droplet motion. Electrowetting, for instance, changes the surface tension between a droplet and a substrate by applying voltage, allowing the droplet to move, split, or coalesce on a flat surface. This technique is already used in lab-on-a-chip devices, for DNA analysis, and digital microfluidics platforms. Merging droplets involves bringing two or more droplets into contact until their interfaces combine, usually triggered by hydrodynamic forces or electrowetting. Why merge droplets? This is essential when you want to mix reagents in precise ratios or initiate a controlled chemical reaction inside the droplet. For instance, in enzyme kinetic studies, merging a droplet containing an enzyme with one containing a substrate lets researchers watch the reaction unfold in real time. Splitting droplets is just as important. By forcing a droplet through a Y-shaped junction or using electric fields, it can be divided into two or more smaller droplets. This is particularly helpful when a sample needs to be distributed into multiple parallel tests or compartments, such as in high-throughput drug screening. Sorting techniques can also use fluorescence-based detection. Suppose one droplet contains a higher concentration of a target biomolecule and therefore emits a stronger fluorescent signal. In that case, an optical detector can trigger electrodes to direct it down a specific channel, effectively sorting positive from negative droplets in a stream. This is used in droplet-based single-cell sequencing. But manipulating droplets isn't always easy. Have you ever wondered how droplets can be controlled so precisely when they are so small and fast-moving? That's where surface chemistry comes into play. Hydrophobic and hydrophilic coatings are applied to control how easily droplets move, stick, or detach from surfaces. Researchers also use surfactants, molecules that stabilize droplet interfaces and prevent unwanted merging or deformation. Beyond lab work, these techniques have real-world applications. In medical diagnostics, droplet-based PCR, polymerase chain reaction, can detect pathogens with extreme sensitivity. In material science, Controlling the timing of droplet coalescence can influence how nanomaterials or emulsions form. In synthetic biology, entire cell-free systems are now run inside droplets. Why does it matter? Because mastering droplet manipulation is like mastering individual logic gates in a computer. It's the foundation for programmable, fluidic systems where each droplet carries information, performs tasks, or reacts on command. The future might not only involve digital computers, but also fluidic processors handling biochemical data in entirely new ways. This is a perfect example of how miniaturization, control, and interdisciplinarity converge to open new frontiers in science and engineering. Droplet microfluidics involves generating, controlling, and analyzing discrete droplets and microchannels where two immiscible fluids interact. The behavior of these droplets is governed by fluid dynamics, interfacial tension, and the geometry of the microchannels. Precise control over droplet size, 
uniformity and spacing is achieved by optimizing flow rates and surfactant concentration. This fundamental control is essential for creating reliable and reproducible micro-reactor environments in research and applications. A T-junction microfluidic device reliably produces uniform water in oil droplets for biochemical assays. It is like crafting perfectly sized soap bubbles that float along a predetermined path. Droplets are generated using various microfluidic geometries such as T-junctions, flow focusing devices, and co-flow systems, each tailored to different applications. These techniques rely on controlling the relative flow rates of the dispersed and continuous phases to achieve monodispersed droplets. The use of surfactants reduces interfacial tension and stabilizes droplet formation, ensuring consistent droplet sizes. Optimizing these parameters allows for the mass production of droplets with precise volume control, which is critical for reproducible experiments. In a flow focusing device, adjusting the flow rate ratio yields droplets with uniform sizes ideal for high throughput screening. Generating droplets is like using a precision mold to create identical beads from molten glass. Droplet sorting techniques exploit differences in droplet size, refractive index, or fluorescence intensity to separate populations within a microfluidic system. Passive sorting relies on channel design and hydrodynamic forces, while active sorting employs external forces such as dielectrophoresis, magnetic fields, or acoustic waves. These methods enable the precise isolation of droplets containing specific reactants, cells, or biomarkers from a heterogeneous mixture. Such sorting is critical for applications like digital PCR, drug screening, and single cell analysis, where each droplet represents an independent reaction or cell. A fluorescence-activated droplet sorter can separate droplets containing a fluorescent signal from those without. It is like an automated sorting machine at a recycling plant that segregates items based on color and shape. Merging droplets involves bringing two or more droplets into close contact and fusing them so that their contents mix and react. This is achieved by carefully designing microchannels or by applying external electric fields, electrocoalescence, to destabilize the droplet interfaces. Successful merging depends on the precise timing and positioning of droplets, as well as the compatibility of the liquids and surfactants used. By controlling droplet fusion, researchers can initiate sequential chemical reactions or combine different reagents in a highly controlled manner. Electrocoalescence is used to merge droplets, containing a drug candidate with those containing a specific enzyme for reaction testing. Merging droplets is like combining two separate ingredients in a small test tube to start a reaction instantly. Droplet splitting is a technique that divides a larger parent droplet into smaller daughter droplets of nearly equal size. This process is typically controlled by microchannel geometries, such as T-junctions or obstacles that induce hydrodynamic forces leading to droplet division. The splitting ratio is governed by the symmetry of the channel design, the viscosity of the fluid, and the applied pressure differentials. Controlled splitting enables precise sample dilution, parallel processing, and replicable experiments across multiple microreactors. A microfluidic device splits a 100 nanoliter droplet into four uniform 25 nanoliter droplets for parallel chemical reactions. Droplet splitting is like slicing a large pie into equal pieces so that each slice retains the same flavor and size. Magnetic manipulation involves embedding magnetic nanoparticles within droplets so that they can be directed by external magnetic fields. This technique allows for non-contact control of droplet motion, enabling precise routing and positioning within micro-fluidic channels. The magnetic field can be modulated to merge, sort, or even split droplets by influencing their trajectory and interactions. Such control is particularly advantageous for biomedical applications, where contamination must be minimized and precise spatial positioning is essential. Magnetic nanoparticles embedded in a droplet are guided along a microchannel by a moving magnet to reach a reaction zone. Magnetic manipulation is like steering a remote-controlled toy boat using a magnet placed under the water. Electrical methods, including dielectrophoresis, use non-uniform electric fields to induce motion in droplets based on their dielectric properties. 
When exposed to these electric field gradients, droplets become polarized and experience a force that moves them towards or away from the source. This technique allows for rapid, precise, and contactless manipulation of droplets within a closed microfluidic system. It is particularly useful in applications requiring dynamic reconfiguration of droplet networks for assays and diagnostics. Electrodes integrated into a microfluidic chip move droplets to designated zones based on their electrical signatures. Dielectrophoretic control is like guiding a charged balloon through a room using strategically placed static electricity sources. Acoustic manipulation employs sound waves, such as surface acoustic waves, to generate forces that move and merge droplets in microfluidic devices. Optical control uses focused light, typically lasers, to induce localized heating and generate thermocapillary flows that direct droplet motion. These methods offer high precision and are non-invasive, making them suitable for handling delicate biological samples. The integration of acoustic and optical techniques enhances the versatility and responsiveness of droplet manipulation in complex assays. A laser beam is used to create a localized thermal gradient that guides a droplet to a reaction area on a microfluidic chip. Acoustic and optical control are like using sound vibrations or a spotlight to gently push a small ball along a track without touching it. Integrated droplet manipulation systems combine multiple techniques such as magnetic, electrical, acoustic, and optical methods to perform complex fluidic operations in a single platform these systems enable multi-step processes like droplet generation, sorting, merging, and splitting with minimal human intervention. The synergy of different actuation methods allows for dynamic reconfiguration of droplet networks essential for high-throughput screening, chemical synthesis, and biomedical diagnostics. Future advancements are aimed at integrating AI-driven control for real-time adjustments and enhanced reliability. An integrated microfluidic platform uses magnetic control for droplet sorting and optical methods for merging droplets in an automated drug screening assay. Integrated droplet systems are like a fully automated assembly line where different robotic arms perform specialized tasks in perfect coordination.